What's up everyone? My name is Samantha. I'm the CEO of WISP. And I'm Katie. I'm the CFO. And startups. We hear about them all the time, but very rarely do you get a peek behind the scenes at what it actually takes to take something from a fever dream idea to actual reality. So we decided that the best thing we can do is lift the curtain. Yeah. Because honestly, like, and we're not talking smack, but a lot of times we do see interviews with some of the top business leaders of today, but it's after the fact and it's very scripted and we don't want to be scripted. We don't have time. So we've decided the best way for us to do that is by doing a vlog. Yes. And it was all Katie's idea. And I was like, okay. And then we asked our PR person and she was like, okay. <laughs> so here we are. Now, before we start a vlog, that means that we're going to be talking about all the different people at our company. But if you guys don't know who that is, then how the hell are you going to know who we're talking about? So we decided that we're going to do superlatives WISP edition. So Katie has written out some lovely superlatives. I don't know what's in here. So it's going to be a surprise to me. And we are going to give the host that we think best fits that description. Yes. So, all right. First one. Most creative. Okay. On the count of three. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> this company was my idea. Yep. And I'm constantly like, oh, we're going to do this and this and this. Yeah. All right. Sometimes I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. Except a lot of times I'm like, ho, 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 ho. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Ooh. We're getting tough real fast. Uh oh. Best dancer. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, Ben. <laughs> See, okay, so Katie and I have talked about this before on camera. We have Fifi Dubois, yes. who is the host of Fifi's Fun House, and she is a very well-known drag queen out of New York City and just came in as the fourth alternate in the Miss Gay America pageant. But Corbin, he's a fabulous dancer too. Yeah, he's a professional dancer. He's on Broadway. He's wild. I know. I but, love looking in this video. You have to follow them on Instagram. Yeah, follow them both on Instagram. And Corbin hosts at the newsstand with me and Katie and yes. a few other people. So I feel like if we have to make it fair, I think that Fifi is a better choreographer yes. than Corbin because Fifi has to come up with new routines every week. But I think that Corbin might be a slightly more versatile dancer than Fifi, but I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. That's a really yes. tough one. Okay. Most likely to pull a prank. Mike Kitless. <laughs> Mike Kitless is a host on It's Bro Time. And yeah, he, he's just a prankster. He is a prankster. And I know that if he had like all the money in the world, like we'd all be covered in like honey and my yeah, bank account would yeah. be empty. And let's be honest. All right. Most athletic. Two, three, Joe. Joe. Jinx. Yeah, Joe. Joe's a host a on Game Over. He's, yeah, he is kind of a babe. Like, oh, and I was gonna say big gym guy. Well, he is, but he's also a babe. Yeah. Shout out to his girlfriend, though, girl. Lucky yeah, you. Yeah, lucky you. <laughs> okay. Not that tight. Yep. Most academic. Okay. There could be four people, to yes. be very fair. So we have Abby, who's our chief strategy officer. She has a law degree. We have Mike and Kevin, who are both pursuing a PhD right now at ASU. And then we have Matthew, who went to Yale for fun. And not undergrad. No, he got a master's degree from masters. Yale. For fun. Yes. Literally. Three, Kevin. Oh. Damn it. Well, well, okay. I say Kevin because I'm pretty sure he's getting like two PhDs at once. Okay. There, yeah. And Mike, who by the way, discovered like a brand new organism this year. And I was so excited. Congratulations. Oh my God. What is it? What are you going to call it? He's like, oh, I don't know. I just put it in the cryo freezer. It's in a Petri dish. I'll take it out in a few months. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever. Okay. Quietest. One, two, three, Sarah. Scott. What? Why do you think Sarah? Because like she just takes a little while to warm up to people. Okay, well Scott and Sarah both host game over. I they're think they're both quiet. Yeah, they Scott's funny though. So is Sarah though. Damn yeah. it, they're both quiet. Yeah. But they're like good one liners. They surprise you sometimes. They surprise us. Okay. Loudest. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Best singer. Ooh. I know it. One, two, three, Carrie. Yeah, Carrie. Carrie's our head of HR and she's like, it's Yeah, that's crazy. amazing. Like she might as well be like Sutton Foster, but she's better than Sutton Foster. Scariest? Oh, well, let's be real. Carrie again. No, I think Abby's scarier than Carrie now. 
I think Carrie was scariest They're kind at first. Of switching roles. I do see how you So do. Carrie's head of HR, so she's the one that fires people, but then Abby's head of like PR and strategy, so if you're not on top of your shit, she does come after you. Abby will come after you. And if you do not listen to Abby, then Carrie will fire you. With well, my blessing. Of but me, though. You'll get there. I'm trying. You're young. <laughs> Alright. Best smile. Matthew. Matthew. I think I just have a crush on Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> He has a good smile though. Yeah, he they does. They both do. Corben has, no, you know what, I'll give Corben best eyes. His eyes are so expressive. That's true. But Matthew has that naughty little smile. He always knows. He knows how. Matthew and I, so Matthew hosts at the newsstand with me and Katie and actually does the same segment that Katie does. He does What's Burning, so um, world news and yeah. finance and all sorts of things. Matthew and I met on Tinder this summer dated for like a little while and it was great but you know two startup entrepreneurs it's kind of busy whatever but I still have a crush on them. <laughs> shout out to you Matthew let's at makeup one two three Fifi. Fifi Fifi's a drag queen hello yeah yeah she turns a look every time she ha turns a look l-e-w-k that's very important biggest hippie Pfft. one two three Kevin Madison and Matthew. Oh, true. But, like, he just loves his trees. He said, oh my God, this summer, Matthew got a bad sunburn. We were at the beach and I'm like, don't worry, I'll help you. So I have this like spray stuff that's like that. He's like, wow, this is really cool. What's in this? And I'm like, Dithonium hygloxine. And I stumbled through the whole ingredient list and I was so embarrassed. And he, it was so sweet. He just looks over and he goes, wow, great job. <laughs> I tried. Most likely to embarrass themselves. Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> Lucy. And I actually think Lucy's the youngest, isn't she? Yes, she yeah. is. But to be fair, when I first met Lucy, I was her babysitter, and now she's a senior in college. She's majoring in government. And when she was little, she was painfully shy, and now she's totally come out of her shell. So I'm, I'd rather her come oh, out of her shell. Most forgetful. One, two, three, microscope mic. Try. They do try. Three of us texting the microscope guys to be like, hello. Like, we yeah. need your episode. We were doing it earlier tonight. Most famous. One, two, three, Dana. Dana Powell. But, but. Non Aaron Close. Seconds. Yes, and Jason Souls is up and coming. He, he like is. a like wildfire. Okay, so Dana Powell, who you guys might know from Modern Family, she's part of our company. She hosts What I Knew. And like, she's been in Bridesmaid. She got her start on Reno 911. She's been on like everything. She's like super Hollywood famous, but then John Aaron has more Instagram followers than Dana. But then Jason Souls out of nowhere, who hosts Allow Me to Translate. It's like, no one knew who Jason was. And yes. now like, I like get on Instagram. I'm like, it's crazy. Wow, you started with no followers and now you have like, 60 new followers this week. Yeah. Or like 100 new followers this week. Like, it's crazy. Where did this come from? Two more. All right. Worst dancer. Katie's, you don't want to see me dance. Katie's not very talented. In the fine arts. She's talented in other things. Not the fine arts. No. Not your strong suit. We love you all the same. The bravest. One, two, three. Yeah, this but is we my all idea. are. We really all are. Yeah, well, I would say me because I started this, but then I'd say every single person at WISP because I'm like, I have an idea, and everyone's like, okay. Yeah. They're just like, yeah, we'll do it totally for sure. You got it. And the only person we didn't mention was Lily. Lily, oh my God. So my mother, when I first started this company, she was like, ha ha ha, that's cute, and then she realized it was a real thing, and so. Finally, after like six months, I gave her two things. She has a web series called Through the Garden Gate, which is attached to Microscope, where she runs around in the backyard and talks about plants, trees, yeah. flowers, everything, tells people how to do gardening, all that other stuff. And we also gave her a segment on at the newsstand called Lily's Library, where she talks about her favorite books. Yeah. Comes on on a quarterly so, basis. like, most likely to be reading and most likely to be found in the garden. Most likely to spill stuff all over herself. Yeah, but She's a up. mess. We love her. Um, biggest imagination. Yeah, I get a lot of my, like, a lot of my traits from my mom. I think you get yeah. a lot of your traits from your dad. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
100%. We are opposites. So anyways, here's what you can look forward to on our vlog. It's basically going to be myself and Katie running around, just working, running errands, doing the things. Yeah. I mean, we technically already have one vlog episode out where it was yes. just sort of like an A-B test and people really liked it. So we thought, oh, okay, I guess we'll do this all the time. We might let you guys in on meetings and we'll take you behind the scenes of recordings and things like that, but it's just gonna be really great. Yeah. And I think the main point, the main reason we wanted to do this is because we just it's, want to show you guys what we're doing. Exactly. And I think that a lot of people have really good ideas, but they're very afraid to go after those ideas and make them a reality. It is hard work. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's not because it's it is. But if you can figure it out and you can go step by step and you find people that believe in it as much as you do, there you go. Entrepreneur. Boom. All right. So All right. make sure you're checking out the vlog. It's going to live here on IGTV as well as on YouTube. And we're going to share it on our Facebook. We have tons of social media. All you have to do is go to at WISP LLC on Instagram. And you can see all of our hosts, all of our shows and everything in between. Yeah. So from WISP, my name is Samantha. And I'm Katie. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. WISP has you covered with everything from politics and world news to sports gaming and technology, pop culture, the fine arts, literature, cuisine, the LGBTQ community, the trans community, the drag community, environmental science, and everything happening in our society and culture today. Be sure to check out all of our shows at whateveryousayproductions.com and tune into our podcasts on leading platforms like Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere else. WISP, starting conversations since 2018.